Okay, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Hassan Mose Medical. You already know the drill. So I'm just gonna do a quick, um, you know, just reflection on how my first week of internal medicine rotation went. You know, just telling you guys, you know, updates here and then nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, but before then, let's go make some quick breakfasts. You guys use warm or cold milk for your cereal. Sometimes I use um warm, but this cold is slapping right now. One second. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. All right, so welcome back to Moe's Medical. So today I'm just gonna be doing a quick reflection on my first week of internal medicine rotation. Right, so I actually just started my internal medicine rotation um, this week and I'm just here to talk about it. So how did my first week pretty much go? So yeah, so so far it was pretty good. Um, it wasn't too busy, right? So it wasn't your typical internal medicine hospital busy rotation, right? Because I pretty much I'm starting on the cardiology service and I'm pretty much working in the outpatient ambulatory setting for the most part, at least my first three weeks though. So just mainly clinic stuff, you know, seeing patients, taking some new consults and just following my attending pretty much everywhere he goes, <laughs> right? So it wasn't too bad, wasn't too busy, just, you know, right there in the middle. So yeah, he started off by my preceptor, you know, he just told me to shadow him. So I think on Tuesday, um, I just shadowed him in clinic. So I just walked around with him, you know, he saw the patients that came in. Some of them were for follow-up, some of them were new consults, right? You know, so I was just there on the side, pretty much just observing, right? Um, I think maybe because it was my first day, you know, they didn't want to throw me right in, right? But yeah, it was pretty chill the first day. Like I said, just shadowing, walking around, you know, observing what he was doing. And sometimes he would ask me a few questions here and there, he would explain some things to me. Um, I also asked him a lot of questions as well too, right? So the second day, you know, so he's an interventional cardiologist, right? So the second day, we just went into the hospital and we did some procedures. Well, he did the procedures and I watched. <laughs> so the first one was a TEE trans esophageal um, echocardiogram, right? So we were just, we had a patient that had a mitral regurgitation and we were pretty much just visualizing the mitral valve to see, you know, what it looked like and why it was being incompetent. And we also observed like a, um, a an iliac artery catheterization right so there's a patient who had very narrowed um, arteries and they're just pretty much opening them with balloons so that was the second day uh, the third day you know we we're back to the clinic and you know just seeing patients here and there so on the third day i actually wanted to see patients by myself right so um my preceptor saw that i was interested in what was going on and he let me see the patients for myself right so um I think it was it was just very humbling, right? You know, just walking into that patient room for the first time all by myself, right? You know, because like I told you initially, I was just shadowing, you know, the physician, right? Just walking around with him and observing what he was doing. But on the third day, he actually asked me if I wanted to see the patients by myself, and I said yes. So I was a little bit, you know, nervous. I'm not gonna lie, right? Because I mean most of these things you have just learned you know in school and on the books right and this was actually my first time 
ever seeing my own patient by myself. So I was a little bit, you know, obviously nervous, right? So all the things I, it's like all the things I learned in my head just disappeared, <laughs> right? So when I got into um, the patient room, you know, when you ask them their name and stuff and you start, you know, giving them the interview, right? I just found out that I was forgetting a lot of stuff just because of the nerves, right? <laughs> but, you know, I just had to just calm down and, you know, just take a deep breath in and out and I just, you know, continued um, the interview. So that was my first ever, you know, experience. I tried talking to a patient and, um, you know, so after that first time, I saw, I think, about four other patients myself that day and I just got my rhythm. So after the first one, I was a little bit nervous. But the second one moving forward, you know, I got my rhythm back and it was just like a smooth sail from there. My big takeaway, I guess, from this week um, is just that, you know, like, this is real life, you understand, right? So like I said, previously, we just learned about these things in class, you know, we practice on our colleagues, right, how to interview and do the physical exam. But, you know, coming out of that patient room that very first time, you know, it dawned on me that this is actually real. Right, it's an actual patient telling me about you know their issues, right, their struggles, right. And I won't lie, I felt a little bit inappropriate because I was like, wow, you know, this patient is actually telling me their personal stuff. So it was a little bit, I felt a little bit uncomfortable, you know, having to delve in and ask those questions. But I had to because obviously I'm there to provide them that service, right. But um, it felt a little bit uncomfortable, right? Just, you know, asking them about their personal stuff and them actually telling you, you know, this is a person you are meeting for the first time, right? So just going right into these things was a little bit, you know, you know what I mean? It felt really humbling, um, to say the least, that I was in that position. You know, I felt very privileged and humbled to be in just a position where patients can actually confide in you you know there was even a point in time i think the third patient i saw by myself you know he was calling me doctor already <laughs> so i was like i'm just a medical student you know um the doctor is going to come and see you after me i'm just here to do like the first initial you know workup and stuff like that right you know um but yeah all in all it was pretty good and like i said the big takeaway is just that this is actually real life you know we're not messing around anymore you know this is not your world this is not like your clinical skills you know class this is real life right and you know having that experience just made me realize that you know this is this is really um something we should take very seriously right because people are there suffering you know people need help right and you know it's just good to really take this thing seriously so for those of you who are still you know like in your first and second years and you know going through like the list of things to ask the patients and sometimes you might have that you know that like mindset of okay some of these things are not important and i could just breeze over these but um that's not necessarily the case because these things actually are very applicable in real life right and also take these things seriously you know because like i said people are going to come to you in their lowest moments they're going to confide in you and you want to make sure you are very well equipped to handle you know those kind of things right so that was just how i felt you know reflecting on this um last couple of days this first week you know and i'm looking forward to the next couple of weeks to be honest right i'm looking forward to the kind of patients i will see i'm looking forward to even honing more on my interviewing skills um i'm sure it's gonna get busier right because um i think when i get into your hospital proper you know things are gonna probably get busier then but for now it's kind of chill i'm just taking it you know as it comes and i'm trying to learn as much as i can and have fun along the way so for those of you who are still in the process of getting ready um for your rotations you know just taking your step one exams you know if you are just finalizing your basic sciences you know just keep grinding keep pushing you know this is going to be such an amazing experience right i'm i'm just experiencing it and it feels amazing right i know the road is not going to be all rosy there's going to be some bumps here and there but you know it's just it's just what it is it comes with the job right so yeah this video is not meant to be like too long or anything i just wanted to reflect on my first week of internal medicine rotation um i think i'm gonna do another one i guess midweek maybe maybe not again i'm not sure what it's gonna look like for me but definitely i'm gonna do one at the end of my rotation so i'll try to make videos at the let's say after the first week and you know at the end of the rotation maybe i'll do some midweek as well you know just update you guys on what is going on what i've learned so far 
and you know if I have any tips as well on how to you know I guess ace the rotations and you know just get through them um, so for now I don't really have much because it's just my first week but this is just me reflecting on my first week and just also encouraging some of you guys out there um, getting ready for to be in this position so yeah nothing too crazy um, that's just my little reflection um, and yeah that's about it so I hope you guys have an amazing weekend you know keep grinding keep studying you know and just let me know if you guys have any questions about anything all right so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video so have a lovely day thank you bye